There's an easy way to transform an ordinary knit t-shirt into a shirt with a designer neckline. The makeover is accomplished with just one embroidery design that has three easy elements. A perfect placement embroidery, a decorative embroidery design, and a neckline transformation. Are you intrigued? I'll show you how. To begin your project creating a designer neckline where you're working with a solid t-shirt and then transforming it with embroidery plus a neckline transformation, the first thing you need is the embroidery design. We're working with designer necklines. Eileen Roche and I work together on this project and inside the packet you will find some of the embroideries printed that we're going to be using. There are placement guidelines for the various types of necklines as well as neckline transformation, the newest part of embroidery. We're going to be working with one of the four merged neckline transformations, the placket and the sunflower being put together. Now there are many other embroideries included in this, but you just really need to know and work with the most newest, and that is the designer necklines. So you're going to print out the threads that you're going to need, place them in order. And here you can see that I placed the threads in order. And then we're going to work with the t-shirt. And on the back of the t-shirt, fuse a stabilizer. This is a fusible, no sew fusible, fusible mesh. And you can see I've placed it on the center front, the wrong side, and then marked the center front line. This stabilizer, the same stabilizer, is hooped into the fab, into the hoop and we have the sticky side, the fusible side up. Now I've used the disc from the package and I've placed it in my computer and selected the placket design with the sunflower embroidery. I've already have it in my machine and you can see the design with the neckline transformation, the embroidery, and then the center area is the transformation. Here's the sequence in which we're going to do the embroidery. The first stitch is the placement. This is going to be stitched directly on the stabilizer. Then we're going to stitch five different thread colors to change or to create the sunflower embroideries. Then the final three embroideries are really just straight stitchings, but they create the transformation. An inverted Y stitches the cutting line for the placket and also placement lines for the placket, a really interesting technique. And then the final two stitches are small little straight lines to attach the placket into place. You'll see how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is to stitch directly on the stabilizer, not onto the fabric, the placement guidelines. Now there are three guidelines merged together because there are many different shapes of necklines. Scoop necklines are not always one size. So we have them stitching. You can see one that has been stitched and then just a slight variation of that is stitched on top of it so that no matter what shape you have for a neckline, you'll be able to have perfect placement. We'll just let all three of them stitch and then there'll be one final stitching. The final stitching on the neckline will be the center front marking so we can align the center front of the shirt onto the center front on the stabilizer. That will allow us to get everything lined up perfectly. After that center front marking has been stitched, then I can remove the hoop from the embroidery unit. Not the stabilizer from the hoop, but the entire hoop. And I'll just lift this up, and you can see how the stitching has been created. And now it's time to do the placement. Place the hoop at the end of an ironing board. Then draw the shirt on top of the ironing board, just the front layer of the shirt align the center front marking as well as the neckline markings. Since this is a dark color shirt, I'm going to cover with a press cloth and then press. The heat of the iron will fuse the stabilizer to the back of the shirt. Then nest the shirt. Bring the back of the shirt around the stabilizer and hoop around the perimeter so that you can now insert it back into the embroidery unit. Off camera, I've taken some time to put in my second thread color. It's a light green to stitch the, some of the vine areas. I've also attached the hoop back to the embroidery unit. Notice again the nesting of the back of the fabric so that it's nested around the edge of the hoop. 
making certain that the embroidery field is clear, that you're not going to have any extra layers of fabric there. Then lower the presser foot and just hit start. There are going to be five different thread colors needed, five thread changes to create the sunflower design. Two for the greens and then three extras for the flowers. You can make the flowers in any coloration that you'd like. This will take about uh, 25 to 30 minutes to stitch the embroidery. So again, using normal, traditional embroidery processes, you're going to stitch the embroidery. So we'll just let this stitch. The machine has just finished stitching the design embroidery. Normally this is exactly what we are embroidering, is a pretty design, but now we're going to transform it. We have the neckline placed exactly in the center of the shirt. We have the design, but now we're going to change the neckline and make it into a placket. The next embroidery really isn't a traditional embroidery, it's a transformation stitch. And as I showed you earlier, it's an inverted Y. It will give us a straight stitching, inverted Y for the cutting, and then sm small horizontal lines for placements of the placket. We're just going to keep that yellow thread on, and I'm just going to show you how to sew this. So we'll just sew down the center front. We'll lock the stitches, and then sew down the center. This will be the cutting line for later on, and then it will sh show you that we're going to be cutting to the very tip and then I'll cl clip the threads and give us another cutting line. And these lines will also allow us to place the tabs in just the right spots. As this is finishing to stitch, I'm going to show you that in the instructions that you'll get with the designer necklines, you'll get instructions on how to create the plackets, what size to cut them, what interfacing to add, how to fold them in half, sew across the bottom, of each of them and then turn right side out. After the placket has been created, then we're going to do the placement. After stitching the placement line, remove the hoop from the machine. Align the tab with the horizontal line, the cut edge with the horizontal line, and that vertical line is where the fold of the placket is positioned. I like to position the tab with scotch tape. The next stitch will be to stitch the placket in place. This is a digitized design. Just let it stitch crosswise to hold the tab in place. Now place the second placket along the horizontal line. The far right vertical line is where you place the fold. Again, position with scotch tape. The final transformation stitching is to stitch the second placket into place. Notice again that it restitches along the horizontal line. Now we're done stitching in the hoop. Simply pop out the shirt and the stabilizer from the hoop. Trim away any excess fabric, stabilizer, and cut down the placket markings. You can see that I've now changed, removed the embroidery unit from my sewing machine, placed my machine back down into my Koala cabinet, and placed on a standard sewing foot. You saw this earlier where we cut the shirt apart right at the center front along that Y seam. From the front, the tabs, the plackets have been held in place. That's usually the most difficult area to sew. We have that st stitched down. Now we're going to meet the cut edges or, of the placket area and the finished areas at the neckline. Let's first pin the necklines together, matching the top, and then matching the cut lines. And because I've made the plackets the size listed in the instructions, everything meets just exactly. Now we're going to sew a half of an inch seam allowance, starting at the ending stitch, sewing up to the neckline, and then doing a little back tacking. And the placket will be perfectly positioned. I've sewn enough plackets in my life to have had difficult times getting them straight. Well, not this time, because we can sink the needle right at the stitching line. I can just start to sew half of an inch seam and sew along the edge. And when you get to the top, you may want to consider just to do a little back track. Cut the threads, and after we do that, you'll see how this has been stitched. And when this turns to the right side, the placket is perfectly in place, sewn at the lower edge by the digitizing and the side seam by yourself. 
Then do the same matching. Match the top of the second placca to the top of the shirt. Match the cut edges and sew the seam. I've done that on the finished sample. I've also trimmed the seam allowances down to a fourth of an inch. A little top final pressing and you have a placket. Perfectly placed, decorative embroideries with a transformation. I'd like to show you one more designer necklines using the placket option. I'm going to select the embroidery just for the placket and the placement that's combined. I have the transformation up on my screen and now I'm going to add the embroidery from my Alissimo. You could use any embroidery that you'd like and I just decided to choose the flower design on the second screen and it's the third one from the left. And when you see it come on the screen it's obviously in the wrong position so I'll set it. And the first thing I'm going to do is to rotate it. Rotate it 90 degrees to the right and then move it over so that it's where I'd like it to be and then down further so that the lower portion of the embroidery is below the end of the placket. I'd like another one but in the mirror image so I'll add that same design. Go back to the exclusives, choose the flower position and then choose the second screen, the third design from the left. This time I would, to set it the first thing I'm going to do is to mirror image the design and then I'll rotate it. Instead of 90 degrees to the right, I'll mirror image it 90 degrees to the left. And then again, move it down and then move it over. Take a little time to position this. I'm doing this very quickly, but you could take a little bit of time to fine tune it. And if you like the way it is lined up, then you're going to do the embroidery. And the embroidery would be, first of all, to stitch the position of the necklines on the stabilizer. Then create the embroideries with the designs. And finally, the transformation designs, the three stitches by adding the placket. And that's another great designer neckline. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to create a so easy designer neckline. To learn more about the products used in this video, along with my favorite sewing machines, visit your participating Baby Lock retailer. Tell them Nancy sent you.